Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Genshi Impact. An after show that shouldn't exist, wander the house of the Hoist Hall. She fits between the shadow the light does not touch, brilliant goodwill but also hesitating in ill deeds. If any acts about her past, she will speak of them buried history. But more than that, she wants to know her own ending. Today, we are doing Archelino's story quest. First things first, we're gonna do her trial character. God damn, look at them heels! Damn! Mason will be step on. So, what's your weapon look like? Oh, the scythe. Damn, I will pull for that, but nope. Let's give it a try. What's your E ability? Oh, 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 oh those X marks the spots! Amazing! That's very nice and swing. Oh, what was that? Is he alt? Oh, oh, snap your finger like your Tokyo Ghoul. Boy, snap feel like like Nanny does. Next up, we're gonna pull for father. Got 90 versus 8, so let's go. I'm also on the 50 50, so let's see. That's a purple. Cover you're not in the banner. What the hell? That's also purple. You always see six girl. That's another purple. That's a golden. I'm skipping. Hey, daddy's home! What's funny is I didn't find the house too. Let's check out Ocknil's thing. Oh, that's so beautiful. No need to fret. I shall handle this. Yeah, with your children, you know. I should put it to Lenny. I do a bit. Let's put her first and everything else. The children. There you go, team complete. I'm not gonna use her yet though because she's level one. I'm going to join you, my children. That's interesting, father. We can finally see her skills. Yes, daddy! I mean, um, yes, father. Excuse me? Okay, so let's focus on doing our story quest. We are going to Poussant, because that's where we're going next. Hey, traveler. Paimon. <gasps> Lily. Oh, Paimon knows that voice. Yeah, the great magician. Hey, there he is. Hey, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. What up, buddy? <laughs> Lenny. So jump down and give me a tackle hug. He's like, ow, my back! the more popular turns of phrase at the moment, this appears to be quite the fated reunion. Running into you two out of the blue like this has really made my day. I certainly wasn't expecting it. You can say that again. What brings you to Poisson? Wait, Paimon's got it! You must be here for one of your magic shows, right? No, I don't um, think so. Actually, we've run into a bit of trouble on the home front, so Father arranged for us to stay in Poisson for the time being. Lynette and Fremenet here too? Yep, along with most of the other members of the House of the Hearth. You may have noticed Poisson seems a bit more... crowded than usual. So you're saying nearly the entire organization has moved to Poisson? Sounds like you've run into way more than just a bit of trouble. What's really going on? Um... well... Since the two of us are curious, oh. I can fill in the gaps. She just teleported in the scale Paimon. <laughs> You scared Paimon half to death! Father, you're here. Um, you know, <laughs> on second thought, maybe we don't need to know. I it's think, all probably I think it's fine! The Angel House of the Hearts, the I first. think it's fine! We totally weren't trying to pry or anything. You need to shut up, Paimon! No need to be nervous. I could sense your genuine concern from your conversation just now. Of course, I can also understand your confusion. Sending so many Fatui here to Poisson, it's only natural that some might suspect an ulterior motive to be involved. Mm, we still have our realization about your organization. I understand. I'm well aware you've had your fair share of confrontations with the Fatui in the past, and I can't exactly guarantee that we'll remain on good terms in the future. As for right now, however, I would say we have little reason to be at odds, wouldn't you agree? The House of the Hearth could stand to be more open with those who have worked so closely with us in the past. As for the issue at hand, well, it hardly relates to any ulterior motive. To be frank, it all stems from a certain rumor circulating around the House of the Hearth. It's an internal matter. What sort of rumor? A rumor that a certain phantom child is hiding away in the House of the Hearth. I feel I'm getting chills already. A phantom child? Ooh, just hearing the name is giving Paimon the creeps. A spirit that should have long ceased to exist is lurking in the shadows of the House of the Hearth. So I decided to bring the children to Poisson before continuing to investigate the situation. I expect I should be able to track down the spirit fairly quickly. After that, it's just a matter of resolving the situation, if you will. 
It shouldn't be much trouble at all. If you're curious, or if you still have some concerns, it might be advisable to stick around for a few days. I'm sure the children would be exceedingly pleased to welcome some visitors. Lenny, I'll leave you to entertain our guests. I have some matters to attend to. Of course, Father. <gasps> Paimon, chill. I couldn't I help but feel impotent due to the with the name, aka. Um, I'll show you though. Now, now that, that she's gone, gone I feel like, like I can finally breathe again. WHAT?! I WAS TERRIFIED?! She also suggests that we stick around for a few days, but why? Hmm. It has long been a dream of mine to invite you to our home and introduce you to my other siblings. So we got boy siblings? You're quite well known in the organization already. A lot of people have been talking about you, especially after everything with the prophecy. If you're willing, why don't you stay a while and have a little chat with us? I mean, okay. All right, we don't have anything else to do right now anyway, but let's be clear, we're just gonna be there as guests, okay? Don't get any funny... Oh, wait a second. For your guests, that probably means we'll be treated to lots of yummy food, right? Of, of course. course. During our stay in Poisson, we've been helping out the locals with some fishing. We bring in quite the bounty every day. In fact, today is the perfect chance for me to show you what I can do in the kitchen. Let's go. I'll take you to where we're staying. Um, okay, sure. When the hard world fame goes out. Alright, we're in the kitchen with Lenny. <laughs> what is he, Gordon Ramsay's magician? That's the little home. Ooh, that's nice. So they fish right here too? That's very interesting. Okay, Lenny. Len and Femme, you heal? We rented this house from one of the locals to use as a temporary base. I'll come back later and tidy up a bit. After that, it should be all ready for you to stay in tonight. Awesome, thanks! So, where are we off to now? Well, when I happened to run into you two earlier, I was actually in the middle of distributing some supplies. With this many people staying in Poisson, we have to bring in outside supplies every now and then. I should probably make sure the rest of these provisions get delivered, otherwise people might start to get antsy. Okay, we'll come with! There are all sorts of rumors about your organization floating around out there. Paimon's not sure if she could even take a wild guess as to what's true and what's not. But now that we finally have the chance to see a day in the life of the house, we can take a good look at how you operate! Well, you're more than welcome to come along. Just follow me. Yeah, follow the great magician. Um, how to the shoes up there? The land, can you with the fish? Which one? There's like so many fucking different kinds. I don't know, give me all of them. But on each end, that's too much. I don't give a shit. Daddy, why? I mean, father, why are they doing this? Let them cook, son. So, what is Lenny disputing, actually? Are those more of the kids? Are those more of the siblings? Lenny! We're finally here! The supplies! I'm assuming you've brought them with me? Yep, here you go. Uh, hello? Something caught your eye? <laughs> Bo looks drunk! Or oh, high. Or oh, probably both. It's the Traveler and Paimon! He has some goofy eyes, look. No way! Come here, everyone! Hurry! The Traveler and Paimon are here! So, are we busy? One at a time, please. Don't crowd around them all at once. We don't want to scare off our guests now, do we? Uh, oh, it's alright! <laughs> Gotta say, Paimon didn't realize we were this famous. <laughs> I mean, of course we are. Father and Linny have told us so much about you. Father told us about how you helped Linny. According to her, you're a trustworthy friend. And as far as she's concerned, that's pretty much the highest compliment we've ever heard her give. As you can imagine, everyone's been very curious about you. I heard the Traveler is so strong that he can move a mountain with his bare hands. I uh... heard Paimon eats so much that she can clean out the entire pantry and hotel to four in just three days. Wait a what? second, that's the rumor you heard about Paimon? Oh, not cool at all! <laughs> I mean, you're a fat ass, what can I say? Mine's also a bit of a stretch. Oh, wait. When guests visit, you're supposed to give them gifts and stuff, right? Oh, we don't need something like that. Besides, we don't have anything to give to you. Come on, we insist. I can give you some of my new potions. Huh? Just pick your poison. And by that, I mean medicine or actual poison. I got uh, both. What the hell is she, a young Dewey? Huh? Or maybe 
Lucky Shaplow can teach you guys about stealth! He's super good at it! He's never been caught! Ah, now that's not a bad idea. I know you usually prefer to fight head-on, but it never hurts to expand your bag of tricks, right? When it comes to eliminating your enemies, staying quiet can go a long way. Trust me, I would know. I was poisoned not too long ago, and I'm still dealing with the after effects. So I'm not quite as good as I was before, but I can still give you some pointers. Um, oh wait, uh, when you said give, I didn't think you meant poison and stealth tactics, but those are the best things we can give you. You don't like them? Ooh, how about this? Tell me the name of someone who really annoys you, and we'll teach him a lesson for you. Hi, Mon. Just kidding. The dangerous suggestion keeps on coming one of the... You start to get All a bit right, overwhelmed. Fold, Selwar. I think that's enough suggestions for now. When it comes to being a good host, it's the thought that counts. You don't need a physical gift to make our guests happy. In fact, pestering them with suggestion after suggestion might make them more annoyed than anything. I would say your enthusiasm has certainly gotten across. Really? Hmm. We definitely feel the love. Awesome! It's been so long since we've had guests to play with. If there's anything you need, just let us know. Yeah, especially if it's poison or something. I've got all sorts of potions for that. Jesus and Christ, this well, woman! We'll talk to you all later. We've still got supplies to distribute. All right, see you later. Yeah, let's go. Bye. Such good kids. <laughs> Lindsay, about all that poison and stuff tactics talk just now. <laughs> Scared you, did it? That kind of talk comes with being part of the House of the Hearth. When Foltz was really young, he strangled all of his family pets just out of curiosity. He was labeled a dangerous problem child and was abandoned by his family. Elwar has an unnatural obsession with potions. Father has forbidden her from trying all the different concoctions she comes up with, but she still tries to test them in secret. You really have to keep an eye on that one. Chaplot is around my age. While I'm mainly responsible for collecting intelligence, he handles surveillance. He's very passionate about his work and has no reservations about taking on some very difficult missions. I know you two probably aren't used to that kind of talk, but I can promise you they only have the best of intentions. Things like stealth tactics and developing different poisons, they really mean a lot to them. They were just trying to share the best of what they could offer, that's all. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, next is Bushin over there. You got the drug, little sis? Mm-hmm. Here you go. Did I just say no more drugs, you little fuck? One. You know, I want to see the other two siblings. Ooh, is that two pets walking behind each other? Filial, supplies are here. Thanks. And who are these two? <gasps> Outsiders? Uh, I am the main character. Ah, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, you're the famous duo I've been hearing so much about. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. I heard you've traveled to all sorts of places. Is that true? Yeah, okay. yeah. We're making our way all across to that. Oh, good for you. You must be pretty familiar with Fontaine by now, then. Have you seen the new opera that started running recently? I think it's called... Uh, the 4,000 Thieves? Oh, this is the first we've heard of it. It seems like it's going to be fantastic. Uh, from what I've been able to tell from the posters, anyway. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you have the time. Oh, and there's The Blind Maiden, too. That one is supposed to have audience interaction. Seems pretty interesting. Hmm, as you spend some time talking about popular culture, the obviously became After more and more relaxed. After over, I think I'll go get a manicure. Oh, uh, Maybe I should dye my hair. Hmm. Wonder how much it'll cost. I do too. Highlight red. Like my profile um, picture. Is it just Paimon, or do these two seem much easier to get along with than the others? Looks like the House of the Hearth has some normal members after all. Of <laughs> course. Oh. Uh. Oops. <laughs> Meshi goes like, can I smack you? I'm guessing you're referring to Fultz and the others. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely not all like them. I bet those crazies are practically foaming at the mouth right now. 
I'm sure they just can't wait to get back to Snezhnaya to carry out the plan. That's enough, Filial. Ah, <sighs> don't talk about family members behind their back, right? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. Um, guess this is goodbye then. If you ever have some time, we should go see the opera together. Yeah, sure. With Venny and the siblings. <sighs> well, that's it for the supplies. We should probably head back as well. Wait, that's it? Really? I thought we had like three things we gotta do. I guess we're doing two only. Well, they didn't seem too happy with each other. Seems like there could be something more going on here. We should up suffer now. You're right. We're only here as guests after all. Oh, uh, Linny's getting super far ahead. Come on, let's catch up. Hurry up, you two. Above a potion. Think I did that. Oh boy. So, what do you think of the members you've met so far? The subtle guy a lot of personality. <laughs> well, father is always encouraging us to be strong-willed and independent. So if there's one thing we've got, it's people who aren't afraid to speak their mind. Well, I should probably get cooking. Wanna join? Of course! Ooh. Then let's head out and... Uh-huh. Fremine? What are you doing here? Staring at the box. Looking at my Minecraft inventory. <laughs> Get it, guys? Uh, well, um... Fremine! Nice to see you again! Oh, uh... You too. I heard you're here as guests of House of the Hearth. Welcome. We were just going to make some food. Why don't you come along? I could use some help in the kitchen, and I seem to remember you mentioning you wanted to make seafood soup for the Traveler and Paimon. Mm, seafood soup? Oh, Paimon is drooling already. Were you oh looking my God, for something woman. just now, Fremine? Maybe I can help. Uh, it's nothing. I just wanted to see if there were any extra supplies. Yeah, we've got some left over. What do you need? Some food and water. And some clean cloth, if possible. No problem. Give me a second here. Food, water, wait a minute. What do you need all of those for? You're not on any missions as far as I'm aware, and you were just going to come eat with us. So what's this mm, all about? Buddy, don't be suspicious. I... Uh, I thought I'd grab an extra portion. Hey! Because I get hungry. At I'm night. getting a feeling. Could I'm be getting that I'm real growing, feeling. You know? And growing! Uh, <laughs> Buddy! You're so suspicious already. You're being sus. I'm getting a suspicious feeling that he's hiding something. Fremine, you remember what I told you? You're not like me. Your lying skills still need some work. He's like, God damn it! <laughs> Tell me what's going on. Is it really bad enough that you have to keep it from your own brother? Um, maybe it'll be better if we gave them some space. Uh, hmm. huh. This is the first time I've seen that kind of look on your face. Whatever happened, does it have something to do with father? Mm. Uh, yes. Wait, really? Just uh, follow me. Um, okay, what you hiding? What are you trying to tell me, Femine? I killed a child. He said what? Daddy, I mean father, I could explain. Explain to your father. Oh, I said I'll talk. The story goes, the child I killed. He didn't give me V-Bucks. Oh, that makes sense. He owned you, I guess it's okay. Never mind that, that's okay, my son. So family is hiding something. That's making me feel kind of weird about that. I was like, hmm, it's like kind of weird. Like, what's the big idea, dude? What you hiding? Are you hiding someone? Oh, yeah. Wait, is that some sort of kid behind? What the hell was that? Who was this child, by the way? That seems very weird. You're back. Oh, and you brought some friends with you this time. Hello, my name's Linny. I grew up in the House of the Hearth. And you are? Hi, Linny. I'm also a child of the House of the Hearth. Just like you. Are you? You can call me Claire V. Claire V? It's nice to meet you. Does that name ring any bells, Lenny? I don't think so. No, not at all. That's not a name we have on our roster, I'm sure of it. What I'm not sure of, though, is how she managed to sneak in. She must be the phantom child Father's been searching for. From the looks of it, I'm guessing you were the one that found her, Fremine. You, uh, 
haven't told father, have you? No, I haven't told anyone. I've just been keeping her hidden. For how long? Uh, yesterday? About half a month now. M a what? So ever since we got to Poisson, then, do you have any idea what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Really? Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. <sighs> if father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. You know the rules of the house, Fremine. I know you do. Father doesn't tolerate any form of betrayal. So why are you doing this? I've thought it through. And I just can't hand her over like that. Linny, don't you remember last year? Sheplo nearly died after getting poisoned during that one mission. He wasn't able to get back before the poison started taking effect. And not a single person was there to help him. That night, while I was sleeping, I heard a voice telling me to go save him. I opened my eyes, but I couldn't find the source of the voice. I thought maybe I was just hearing things, but I went to look for him anyway. Luckily, I got there with enough time to save his life. That feeling of being haunted, of hearing voices, it's happened many times in the House of the Hearth. I'm sure you've noticed. So what you're saying is, that was her? She was the one who spoke to you that night? Unless there are other spirits roaming around the House of the Hearth, I don't think there's any other possibility. If Claire V were our enemy, it wouldn't matter whether she was a spirit or an actual child. I would have acted without a second thought, because that's what Father ordered us to do. But she's been living with us, helping us from the shadows all this time. I think that makes her family. I couldn't just hand her over to be dealt with. Not when there's so much we still don't know. So what's your plan then? You can't keep her here forever. Someone is bound to find out eventually. I haven't thought that far yet. I don't want to disobey an order from Father, but I also don't want to put Clairvy in danger. Come with me. There are a couple things I'd like to say to you in private. Me and Travis suck dick. What? Yeah, I did. No, I did not! Okay, what's going on? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those two sure care a lot about each other. <laughs> well, they got a funny way of showing it. From where Paimon was floating, it sure seemed like they were about to bite each other's heads off. No way. They have a really deep bond. I could tell right away, because I also have a friend like that. I just don't know how long that kind of bond can last. What do you mean? The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. I'm sorry, That sounds creepy. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. Oh, really? You didn't mean to? Cuz I for one wish you did. Huh? What do you mean? You know, when we were younger, you didn't call me Linny. You called me brother, just like Lynette. We grew up together, the three of us. We were all orphans, all rescued by father. Of all the siblings in the House of the Hearth, I think our bond was the closest. Later on, when you started calling me Linny, I wasn't actually surprised. After all, Lynette and I are related by blood. We've had to depend on each other to survive long before we joined the house. Linny, I... The darkest and most difficult moments of my life happened before you and I had ever met. I'm sure that's true for you as well. Even so, Fremenay, we've stood by each other for all these years now, and to me, that means more than blood. You and Lynette are the most important people in my life. No one can replace you. So I won't let you face anything alone. Not if I can help it. Oh, it looks like things are getting kind of heated between Linny and Fremine. Maybe we should go check on them. Uh, actually, they're doing good! They're doing fine! What do you mean they're doing bad? Can you shut up? Is she actually eating? Oh, is that lasagna? Ooh, what are you, Garfield? Okay, I'm gonna go see what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> hey, you two! Hope we aren't interrupting anything! Like a fight, or... Oh, wait a minute, Fremine! Y you're not crying, are you? Is everything alright? <laughs> Everything's fine. 
Thanks for asking. Hey, give him a hug. He needs it. Well, we're all friends here, right? We've been through so much together, so if there's anything we can do to help, just say the word. It's just a small family dispute. It's not something our guests should trouble themselves with. In fact, it might be better if your stay ended here. But sometimes, having guests about can come in handy. Uh, what are you getting at, Traveler? When guests are around, families are often on their best behavior. And any disputes are less likely to escalate. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it? Exactly. I... just... Thank you. I was really hoping to keep you out of it. But even if I could think of some other reason to turn you away, I'm not sure I could convince you. Nope. I know things could turn dangerous, so I promise you this. From now on, I'll protect you like my life depends on it. Me too. Well, back to the matter at hand then. If we don't plan on handing Clarvy over to Father, then our only other option is to solve the mystery of her identity before Father is able to track her down. That means finding out where she came from and what she's doing here. Then we can send her on her merry way and pretend like none of this ever happened. I've tried that already. And? And... nothing. I tried taking her somewhere really far away, but... after some time... She just reappeared. She even came with us all the way to Poisson. It seems like wherever the house is, she follows. Oh, that's creepy. Hmm. I don't know much about spirits. Do you two have any ideas? <gasps> Hotel? I, let's see here. Oh, no, I, Paimon remembers hearing something like, if you fulfill a spirit's last wish before they die, they'll let go of whatever is keeping them here and return to the ley lines. Oh, it's just that Pylon doesn't really remember where she heard that, so... So, it's not guaranteed to work or anything. Yeah, for what how or any spirit go skeletons? Well, sounds like it's worth a shot. Guess that means we should go ask her about her wish. But first... Fremini, I need you to promise me something. What is it? I need you to promise me that this will stay between the two of us. We're the masterminds behind this whole thing. No one else gets involved. Can you do that for me? Of course. I promise. All right. Then let's seal the promise just like when we were kids. Fist bump on three. Ready? One, two, three. Hey. I swear. God, hey, hey, wait a damn it. She was healed? <laughs> oh, side eye. He said, holy shit, old Chan was watching. Hello. <laughs> she looks pissed. <laughs> like, Oni Chan, you fucking traitor. Lynette. <laughs> you scared me. But what a surprise. <clears throat> what brings you here, dear sister? Look at that face. He's like, I'm f upset. I am upset. You didn't say shit. And now I am not going to bring you to Starbucks. And, uh... When exactly did you get here? She's a, she's a Mino, okay? She can literally just show up anywhere. You're an idiot, brother. <laughs> oh boy. Um. And you too, Fremenet. Uh. You three, Traveler. And you four, Paimon. <laughs> what?! No, Paimon made me! Don't blame me! Wait, what did we do? I've seen Claire be around the House of the Hearth before. I hadn't seen her in Poisson, so I figured she must not have come with us. But it turns out, you were just hiding her. I heard you talking about your plan. Rather than steering clear of the situation, I'd rather fully join in. If you don't agree, I'll have no choice but to report everything back to Father. Simple as that. Damn, she's that was checked. <sighs> You're not giving us much wiggle room here, Lynette. Well, I guess we're all in this together then. After we talk to Claire V, we'll figure out our next move. There's no time to lose. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Talk to the one who's eating la of lasagna. Thank you for bringing me this food, you guys. Um, she 
said she's full, but the food doesn't look like it's even been touched. Uh, well, she's a spirit. That's right. Based on what I've been able to observe, it doesn't seem like Clairvy can interact with the physical world at all. Still, when she's presented with food, she'll always linger around it for a good little while. Maybe, in her mind, she really is eating those things. Does she know that she has already passed away? I've tried to ask her, but she didn't answer. My guess is that she's just as confused as we are. Or... Maybe she couldn't understand the question at all. Clairvy, if you've got some time, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Oh, another new friend. Hi, I'm Clairvy. Is that a cat? I'm a human being who's a neko. Meow. Hello. Clairvy, how did you join the House of the Hearth? Huh? Isn't it the same for everybody? I get the feeling she's dead because of what happened from her past. The knave brings you here and then you can't leave. It's just that your name, it's not on the roster. And I've never seen you before. The roster? Oh, I get it now. I think there might be some things you don't know about this place. The people in charge, they're not as nice as they look. They say they keep a roster, but it's not complete. There are a lot of people who aren't on it, and never will be. In this house, some people are family, and other people are just test subjects. Those Seriously? kinds of people aren't ever going to get a place on the roster, unless it's the roster of people who've been executed. Wait, does, does that mean the name... she... Is there anyone that can vouch for you? Mm, Perry. She's my best friend. She's the only one I trust in this place. Have either of you heard of that name before? No. Me neither. Claire V. Perry. Neither of those names are on the roster. But it seems like she's telling the truth. Either that, or this kid's already got a bag of tricks bigger than mine. Hmm. Maybe we should try a different approach. Claire V, do you have a wish? A wish? It can be anything you want. Just imagine. It's your birthday, you're blowing out the candles, and your wish is... Where's she going? To... To go outside, where the sun can find me. That's... It? Well, that sounds easy enough. Hmm. The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. What did you mean by that? This... these can't be this simple. Okay, time to divide and conquer. Listen up. I've got a plan. I'll try and find a way to use basic illusory magic to take Clairvy outside and bring her somewhere with sunlight. Lynette. Try and find the list of executions that Clairvy was talking about, and see if her name is on it. Fremenet, you stay in Poisson. We can't be the only ones who've had run-ins with Clairvy. I need you to collect intel on everything she's said and done. Understood. I'll try my best. What about us? What should we do? I really appreciate your willingness to help, but this is a family matter. I don't want to drag you in too deep. It's too risky. Let me think. Since father considers you to be guests, maybe you could stick by her side for a little while. You don't need to do anything. Yeah, the distraction. Keep up some nice casual conversation. Ah, you like nice you heels. Did. You want us to distract you. Exactly. How should we contact you? I'll give you a magic bird. If father suspects something, all you need to do is release it when she's not looking, and it'll alert me that something's wrong. Like go, go, go. Of course, that's only as a last resort. If father doesn't seem to notice us, there's no need to make contact. We'll reconvene here tonight after all said and done. If the okay. worst case scenario happens and we're discovered, just tell father everything. We're not going to let our guests get punished for our own actions. That's where we draw the line. Be careful. You too. Okay, this is where we part. Father should be at the beach nearby. A beach? Um, <laughs> I spent a bikini. 
That would be kind of awkward. I really hope this goes well. No. It has to go well. That's the only way this can get resolved. Hmm. Okay, now that's over. Let's go. Fine. Our father. He's in the beaches, he said. Wait a damn minute! Child is okay? He finally made his appearance? Wow, that took you a while, buddy. You feeling better? It's the knave! And... Child! Hey! Aren't you supposed to be in Snezhnaya recuperating? What are you still doing in Fontaine? Oh, it's you two. I didn't expect to run into you here. <laughs> He's probably still recovering. I was unconscious for quite a while after the fight in the Primordial Sea. After I woke up, I realized I was being taken back to Snezhnaya. And well, I couldn't have that now, could I? Not when I've still got unfinished business here in Fontaine. So, I mustered up all my strength and made the journey back on my own. What sort of unfinished business are we talking here? It has to do with Skirk, my master. I really wanted to meet up with her, but by the time I got back, she had already left. I still have so many questions for her. Without any other leads, all I could do was ask the knave to help me track her down. She must have left behind some traces from her time in Fontaine. Oh, okay. So, have you found any clues? Unfortunately, no. While the House of the Hearth is adept at collecting all manner of intelligence, certain existences can still manage to escape our purview. Basically, unless Master feels there's a need to meet with me, She's not going to be found, but that problem has an easy fix. I just need to become stronger, and then... <coughs> the guy got child. Uh, Hyman thinks you should focus on getting better first. <laughs> the worst of it is over. It's all thanks to that one kid from the House of the Hearth. Elwar, I think her name was. She gave me a bunch of random potions to drink. Oh! It's easy, let me tell you. Pain and chills all over. But they really did help speed up my recovery. And that's good, because it looks like I really do have to head back this time. <sighs> the old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Yeah, that's the one. <sighs> I heard Regrader's involved too. I'm not looking forward to having to listen to all his monologuing, that's for sure. Hey, maybe you could think of a way for me to stay in Fontaine for a little longer. Helping Linny and the others brush up on their fighting skills would be far more interesting. If you and I could spar, that would be even better. I've been waiting for a chance to see you go all out. A fight? And what a sweet little daydream that is. But I also have a role to play in all this. I'll be leaving Fontaine shortly as well. Besides, considering how little they see fit to step outside the homeland, being called on to return to Snezhnaya by such illustrious dignitaries. What a great honor. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> One I could do without, I'd say. Uh, is it just Paimon? Or does it kind of seem like they're... Just casually trash-talking their colleagues behind their backs. So, dear guests of the House of the Hearth, to what do I owe the visit? Um... Um, well, we just... Um... <gasps> yeah, play along. Wanted to learn more about you. Right! We're super close to Linny and the others, but we still don't know much about you! Is that so? Introductions have already been made, have they not? Oh, uh, well, you see? <laughs> I'm not gonna like this. How much you can learn about someone from a short introduction. At least tell us something a little extra. Like, why do you call yourself father? Huh, good question. I'd also like to know. The fact that you have to ask tells me our intelligence work has been quite successful. Telling you the answer to that question would only serve to undermine that success. And we can't have that. Now can we? Spoken like a true diplomat. That was some expert sidestepping right there. Well, if there's nothing else, I think I'll take my leave. I still have a small matter to resolve at home. Uh-oh, wait, you go! Uh-oh. If the name leaves right now, she's just going to lay in clever. Should I release it to the lady gave us? No, we should try to get her talking to so about something else first. Um, <laughs> I don't like this lady person in too. Like, okay, uh, what does the old legend mean to you? <laughs> I'd also like to hear the answer to this. Oh, this is pain! I've met some of the members of your organization, and they all seemed like really good kids. They actually reminded me of Tonya and Tusser, which, by the <sighs> way, if you ever betray them, I'm just letting you know, I won't let you off easy. 
And why would I betray them? Well, you've already betrayed the House of the Hearth <laughs> once, haven't you? At least, that's what I heard. Did she? Hmm. Okay, okay, I admit. That's just what the old man told me. The rooster, I mean. Did the knife betray the house at all? So, does this mean what Jeffrey said was true? Does the knife believe true such like test subjects? Uh, no! Why was she? Wait, did you really do something bad to those kids? Never mind what I've done. I'm more curious as to what the mighty rooster had to say. Care to enlighten me? Ah, well, nothing much. Just some stuff about you taking out many other members of the House of the Hearth, and even going so far to attack your own family. Hmm. I see. Oh, based on your reaction, I'm guessing it's all a bunch of lies. Exactly. Hardly. I don't appreciate his particular turns of phrase, but I suppose he didn't say anything untrue. Although, it would be more accurate to say that there is a certain level of prejudice involved, but... I don't intend to clear that up just yet. Prejudice has a funny way of concealing the real truth behind certain things, an attribute that I find to be quite advantageous. Call yourself a Fontanian, for example, and people will assume all sorts of things, when the real truth is that this is simply the land where I was raised. Huh? You're not actually from Fontaine? But then, why did you try to help out with the prophecy and everything? I was trying to protect the children born in Fontaine. Claiming that I myself was a Fontanian simply made it easier to operate. People would hardly suspect a fellow Fontanian of having any ulterior motives. Who wouldn't want to save their homeland after all? The Primordial Sea wouldn't have any effect on me, but it would have caused great harm to the House of the Hearth. Well... You wanted extra information, didn't you? There you go. I hope that satisfied your curiosity. So much for learning anything else about her betray. She probably only will reveal that only a secret in order to change the subject. It seems like she's trying to avoid talking about her past. So, you stayed in Fontaine for the kids. I guess I was wrong to believe you'd betray them. Apologies. Looks like I was holding on to some prejudices myself. Good. Like I said, I like it when others have misconceptions of me. Actually, while I was recuperating at the House of the Hearth, there was something else that really caught my attention. I heard that members always resolve disputes and arguments with a friendly spar, and the loser has to back down. Seems pretty cool if you ask me. Would also give them plenty of opportunities to hone their skills. Well, that's only a recent development. In the past, such spars weren't nearly so... friendly. The losing party would lose everything, including their life. They were that high stakes? Whew, at least that's not a thing anymore. Well, the current atmosphere is not half bad. I'm a bit jealous, actually. You've got so many family members around you, and you even get to live with them. Having a lot of family around means dealing with a considerable amount of bickering and scheming. Once Tonya and Tusser enter their rebellious phase, I'm sure you'll understand. Just imagine. Tusser becomes obsessed with plucking out strands from the rooster's mustache, or Tonya decides to dye her hair 42 different colors. Oh god, he's terrified! Okay, okay. I get the picture. He's like, oh fuck, I guess father is really terrifying. Well, actually, no. As the guardian strips to the top of the toilet, the child gets to show a story about uh, Okay, it's a type of coverage that will usually lead to falling asleep. But you find yourself getting... Uh, well, would you look at the time? I should probably get going. Thank goodness child help us! Traveler, Paimon, I'm not sure where our paths will cross next, but the next time we run into each other, we should definitely try and find some time to spar. <coughs> um, again, maybe this is a conversation we can have when you look less like you're gonna keel over. All right, all right. Well, thanks for everything, Arlecchino. No thanks necessary. You also played a part in obtaining the Gnosis. I would say we can call ourselves even. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Well, I'm off. See you all some other time. Okay, see you then. Um, we should probably get going too. Do you want to head back with us? Oh, you want me to leave so soon? Oh! Five on! Um, hey! No sussy! I'm rather enjoying the evening breeze. 
If you don't mind, I think I'll stick around for a bit. I have some things to think about. Apologies for not attending to you like a proper host. Please forgive this slight. I do hope you'll have a pleasant stay. Um. Huh? Sure. to keep her distracted until nightfall. Oh, my bad. My button. Anyway. Oh, I, I mean. If Lenny ran into any issues, let's hurry back and see how everything went. Yeah, for another episode. Oh, I'm gonna there. My subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.